This is Movie Tone. Leslie Mitchell reporting. Filmed at number 10, members of Britain's first Labour government to hold office with full power to act face problems of extreme difficulty and urgency at home and abroad. And here they face a concentration of cameramen worthy of the occasion. The garden at number 10 was the silent witness of a similar scene in 1929. On that occasion, Ramsay MacDonald introduced members of his cabinet after the indecisive Labour victory of that time. May I introduce to you the uh, members of the cabinet who have been chosen for very hard work and because I believe the nation fully believes that they are perfectly competent to perform. And Mr. Wedgwood Ben, uh, he uh, is one of the young men. He is having also a task of the very greatest importance. He is now Lord Stansgate, Secretary for Air. <laughs> Behind him uh, was uh, Mr. Arthur Greenwood, who is going to the Ministry of Health. Mr. Greenwood today is Lord Privy Seal. Uh, Mr. Alexander, is uh, going from the Board of Trade to the Admiralty. And I am sure Mr. Alexander will show his great business capacity at the Admiralty. Mr. Alexander is at the Admiralty once more. Last, but uh, most unique, <laughs> is our friend Margaret Bonfield. Margaret Bonfield is a double first. She is the first woman who has been admitted into the Privy Council. She is now the Right Honourable Margaret Bonfield. Yeah. She is also the first woman who has taken a seat in a cabinet. Miss Bonfield's counterpart today is Miss Ellen Wilkinson, Minister for Education. And here's the cabinet of 20, Back row, left to right, Mr. Anoiran Bevan, Health, Mr. Isaacs, Labour, Lord Stansgate, Air, Mr. George Hall, Colonies, Lord Pethick Lawrence, India and Burma, Mr. Lawson, War, Mr. Westwood, Scotland, Mr. Shinwell, Fuel and Power, and Mr. T. Williams, Agriculture. As for the ministers in the front row, I expect you know them all, though some of you may not be sure of the posts they hold. The big three need no introduction anyway, but of the others you will see next to Miss Wilkinson, Mr. Shooter Ede, Home Office, then Mr. Alexander and Mr. Dalton, Chancellor of the Exchequer, and beyond Mr. Bevin and Mr. Greenwood are Sir Stafford Cripps, Board of Trade, Lord Jowett, Lord Chancellor, and Lord Addison, Dominions. <laughs> 